If you don't want to hear complaining, just leave. The next one after Hydra to piss people off. Good job, Polarium. All right, so I came out with this Live Arena video the other day where I'm pretty much raging because of raid bots, something I, I didn't know was a thing, right? So uh, the issue was I was going up against somebody who was in high arena, like gold three, I think, 4,500 um, from a well-known clan. And the entire time during the drafting process, he um, takes up the entire turn meter. So I'm sitting there like he's wasting my time. Right? Especially with Live Arena only having like a two hour time time window. You, you know, you're trying to get it in, trying to do your thing, especially if you're trying to do the Marius missions, which if you want Marius, you have to do Live Arena and you have to get wins. So people were like, oh, um, he could be AFK. Okay, if he's a AFK, like how did he choose Armands first and then a bunch of mythicals? And then some people were just like, oh, it's a raid bot. O okay, well one, I didn't know that was a thing. Two, that shouldn't be a thing regardless and Pillarium needs to fix that. I'm pretty sure it's not the easiest thing to fix, but regardless, e if he was AFK or if it was a raid bot, he's still a fucking dick for doing so, right? Because why, why do I have to be on the receiving end of, of somebody who is not even actually playing the game they just want their rewards and they're willing to make other people uh, suffer for it, right? There's no situation, there's no excuse that anybody could say where what he did was okay. Nobody really like defended this guy. A lot of people were on my side complaining it, but at the same time, if you, I, I guess it's like this, right? I understand if you're, if you're coming with the knowledge because it helps me, who is getting mad over this, have a little bit of understanding. I can understand that. But at the same time, <laughs> the other burrito is just like, bro, that's fucked up. No matter what right he shouldn't be playing live arena or there needs to be consequences it's not fair to the entire player base for anybody to be to be on the receiving end especially those who are just trying to get their marius missions done i get that you want to you know get the rewards get the primal shards climb live arena and do you know do whatever it is that you want to do but seriously come on man and then we get some people saying like oh burrito you're complaining Yes, I'm complaining. Thank you for pointing out the obvious. If you don't like it, go watch another person, unsub, click don't recommend this channel. I don't care. Just don't come around me again because I don't... If you're going to complain about somebody and continue to watch them or not just leave the video, but you're going to sit there and leave a comment, like in the same sense where if it's just like, if I don't like having to sit there and battle somebody who's using a raid bot, I could just click leave and take the L and go about my day, which is honestly probably, you know, that's sounding real good right now. I should probably just do that. I'm probably going to do that. But that still doesn't detract from what I was feeling at the time. It's also something that needs to be talked about more so that Polarium can be more so aware about the situation and they can be more so pressed to do something about it. Because it's just straight up cheating and it's not fair to you or me who are actually trying to play the game. Because most of the players want to get Marius or have to, uh, you know, at least right now, for advanced quests, if you want to get the entire energy pot, you're going to have to do wins. You're, you're going to have to get wins in live arena. If you don't want to hear complaining, just leave. But it's my channel. I'm going to make the videos the way that I want to make them and however I want to make them. And if I feel a certain way, I want to express that however I want to express it because that's just who I am, right? I'm not going to sit here and pretend that, you know, everything's sunshine and rainbows. Like, you're telling me that you've gone throughout your entire life without complaining about a damn thing, that everything is sunshine and rainbows, or you just, you're just the type of person who takes it. You bend over and you take it, right? You don't say anything, right? You don't want anything to change, right? That's what you're telling me, right? If you're new here and you haven't seen any of my other videos, yes, this is this is how I am. This is how most of my videos uh, have been or not have been because in the beginning I was like super nice and I was really like careful about what I was going to say and, and everything. But as I become uh, more comfortable in my YouTube career, I've realized that I can just be who I am without having to fake it or put on like a YouTube persona for this. So if you're wondering if this is how I actually am, yes, this is how I actually am. I am passionate about the game. And so if you, I hope you can see that from me talking about this issue that really grinds my gears. If you don't like it, I would suggest you stay the fuck away from me. Or if you, you know, vibe with it, then come on in, brother. Come on in. Grab a beer, grab a coffee. Let's, you know, let's talk about this. It's a very human thing to complain. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with it. It's when it's all the time. Everything in moderation, right? Now, granted... I've been doing it more often because Raid's been pissing me off lately. But for the most part, like, we can try and perpetuate and propagate positivity, right? Or be objective about certain things. But, I mean, honestly, look at this. I'm not the only one. Live Arena Improvements, this is bullshit and forces people who hates this to play it to gain the daily energy refill forcefully. Upon reaching level 60, players will have their arena-themed advanced quest changed to one that requires winning a live arena battle. You were required to win. Furthermore, 
We'll add separate Live Arena quests for all players with access to Live Arena, requiring winning one, three, or five Live Arena battles. If you're the type of person who, who wants to min-max as a free-to-player and you want to get all the energy, which is like over a thousand per day, quote-unquote, free energy, you just have to you know put the work in and you need to win Live Arena. By the way, there's a you know a video I did talking about how uh, all you have to do is just you know lose like three or two or three fights and then you get like a, an easy fight after that. Um, that's you know somewhere I'll try to link it if I remember to do it. But it's just like you're required to win. And then if you go up against somebody who's griefing on purpose or trolling and they're purposely doing it to make you mad so that you leave the game, guys like that guy I fought, you guys are telling me that he got to that point doing that and that's okay. By people saying that we shouldn't complain, you're basically saying that that's okay, that you're okay with that. And again, most of the players are going to suffer for it. People are just like, oh, it could be internet issues. If your internet is unreliable, you need to think about how your lag impacts the whole game. All of the players. It's not just your experience. You're, you're messing with everybody. You're messing with my time. Find a way to do what you need to do without being that player who makes other people suffer. Required winning and not just playing is fairly asinine. That's silly as shit. And then uh, update because I just checked it again. Uh, this guy responded to this guy saying, it's so you lazy fucks actually try instead of just wasting live arena keys. And then Spudzy says, no, it's so... Pl I feel like I know Spudzy. Uh, quite a bit. I read a lot of his comments. No, it's so Polarium can force us to play an underutilized game mode because the vast majority of players hate it instead of actually fixing the game mode so it's enjoyable and the majority want to play it. If you skip an unenjoyable chore in your life like doing dishes, that's being lazy. If you skip an unenjoyable chore in a mobile game, it's because you were smart and valuable your time and, and value your time. I feel that. Then he responds, first off, you probably skipped the spoiler part of my previous message, but that's okay. Second, if we're taking things seriously, how do you make PvP enjoyable? Because I see this word being thrown around, but I myself cannot think of anything that makes LA enjoyable to me. Because it's PvP. You will lose, you can't always win, true, and it's slow. People need time to make a decision. Maybe it's just me, and it seems like, you know, it could just be me. Really? The entire 15-20 seconds? Again, I stand by this. They should drop that by like 5 seconds. It should only be like 10 seconds. I feel like it could be better all around less time taken, it would be more like a quote-unquote live arena, and it would make things a little bit more challenging. And then somebody uh, commented, they were like, well, if you want to go play a game where it's just like instantaneous, then just go play like some hack and slash game. <laughs> and I chuckled because that, like, I, I see where he's coming from. You know, there's some truth to that. And, uh, you know, it, it was funny. It was a funny thing, I think, right, to keep people on their toes. That way people will learn to make decisions faster. And there's always going to be people unsatisfied with the game mode. There's always going to be somebody unsatisfied with everything. Sure, Polarium, take these atrocious changes to Live Arena that nobody asked for and continue to ignore Tag Team Arena. <laughs> true. That is true. <laughs> Trying to get into Gold 1 is such a pain in the ass. Crap ton of OP teams that can't attack and everyone pushes wins last minute while I'm asleep and always drop down. I would suggest doing your push hard and heavy during CVC, during personal CVC, because a lot of people use tag team arena to get a lot of points because a lot of people drop their teams and they don't put it back till either wednesday or thursday what they think is awesome is how it makes whales spend while polarium doesn't have to do anything they couldn't care less if the game mode is trash as long as that objective is, a is accomplished i'm guessing this is a result of the whales complaining that they only get to fight other whales let, let me understand this whales use raid bots to fight other raid bots right is that a situation that happens so one guy like that guy from chq would go in with a raid bot and then what if he gets matched up with another raid bot then there's, there's just two raid bots fighting each other you know what i mean this comment sounds right on the money no idea if it's true but this is a reasonable motive for this shitty change i can make no promises on the second part but i would bet a great deal of money on the first one being true pvp means you fight against constantly increasing strength which means you need to gain more strength which means getting better champions guys remember um What's his name? God, I forgot his name. Mac Chan. You guys remember Mac Chan? He was talking about how he was spending thousands. He was spending thousands, I think a week, just to try to um, keep up in Platinum Arena. That's crazy. And Polarium likes that. Pay Polarium stupid amounts of money. What does Polarium need to do to maintain this cycle? Practically nothing. Release a new OP champion or gear set every once in a while. Players will keep the arms race going themselves. PvE contest in contrast requires actual effort from Polarium. Winning five, that's insane. The beatings will continue until morale improves. The sadistic or masochistic way. As an avid live arena battler, battler, this isn't a great idea. If you're up against a troll whale who cooks the selection, exactly, you may be stuck 
for 20 minutes just to fail a quest. Part of it is, is, is a me issue because I could just let my ego go. I could just let them win. I don't know how raid bots work, but don't you have to be there to, to click going into Live Arena? So this asshole who's using a raid bot is basically going in with the intention of doing this. He is going in there with the intent of griefing other players. It doesn't matter if he's using a bot. It doesn't matter if he's an AFK person. He clicks Live Arena. Again, I'm assuming that's how, you know, you have to do it. I don't know if the raid bot will go from the home screen to Live Arena and click Live Arena for you. People were using raid bots are doing this on purpose and they're going out of their way to do this with the intent. That is not okay. Polarium needs to fix this. It forces me to be active in a specific time frame, forces me to win. I come to this game to relax and take my time. The fact that I need to win will push me into gold so my win rate against whales will drop to zero. It makes me anxious to be involved in that activity and I have that feeling. This is stupid. My home internet is spotty and I can only play Live Arena in a two hour window. Fuck off Polarium. I'm gonna AFK so many battles. If you know you're gonna AFK, what you can do is just quickly pick your champions and then just click auto as soon as you hit the battle. And this would actually be a lot faster than you just going into Live Arena, matching, and then walking away. Cause I, I assume if you're trying to get all your battles done, you're, you're coming back to your phone or you're coming back to the computer to check to see what happened. And if you just you know pick your champions, go in and then let the fight run however you want or however you expect it to, to run then it's just a lot faster for for everybody some people uh, someone was just like uh you know shiny uh, likes to take his time with every every turn that he takes he likes to think cool i'm not trying to say that shiny is wrong he definitely knows more about live arena than i do but i'm not shiny right this isn't a shiny channel is it shiny or shiny I, I, what, shiny but that's not how i do live arena and that's not how i want to do live arena right i want to get in get a quick win in sometimes i'll take a fun fight because sometimes there are fun fights to be had. Sometimes you just want to, right? Because you're going to have days like that. I sometimes enjoy Live Arena. Like sometimes I'm, I'm having a lot of fun doing Live Arena. But then other times, <laughs> it's this thing. Everything in Polarium is always a love-hate relationship. Like you, I love so many areas of the game. And then there's always like the other half of it where it's just like, I hate and I detest this. I don't feel this way about CVC. I don't feel this way about Hydra. I don't feel this way about Siege, right? Those are PvP areas, but I don't feel this vehemently about those areas of the game, those PvP sections, so much as I do for Live Arena. And it could be just, and it could just be because I'm just sitting there actively trying to play the damn game. We ain't good. Yeah. I'm a fat man. Feed it chewing drugs like Pac-Man.